Hello world, Monte Coleman, IES Coaching. Today we're going to start a new series, we always start a new series, on male personality types and how to cohabitate, partnership, work for and work with the different uh, male personality types. Um, the one I'm going to start with is my counterpart, being a Sigma male, my rival in life are alphas. So we'll talk about how to deal with alpha males in various roles. Um, we'll keep it kind of organized. We'll start off how to deal with alpha roles and um, you're reporting to them in a, natu in a natural state of being leaders. Also how to lead an alpha male and also how to partner with alpha male. This information can kind of work both in a professional environment and in a personal, social, even a romantic environment. But these are key tools. All right. Let's dive right in. First from the rip, the word alpha order bag means dominant. The alpha male is dominant, which means AKA ego, provado, and a sense of empowerment is key to his or her, even the female who's alpha, but key to his, his, his status. So when dealing with an alpha male who's in a leadership role, you as a subordinate or as a person who reports to them or as a spouse, or even as a child dealing with an alpha male who's a parent. You have to maintain their sense of authority. A approaching an alpha male challenging their authority will trigger aggression, disagreement, and hostility. So when dealing with an alpha male, you have to learn how to lead from behind. How you lead from behind is everything you give to an alpha male who's in a leadership role should be suggestion-based, meaning it should almost make it seem like it's their idea so you want to kind of approach them in a way where you're not telling them what to do, but you're helping them come up with a better solution. Um, you have to be really mindful in your word choice of the alpha males because they do have fragile egos. Even though they're aggressive, even though they're that handsome, char charismatic person with that leadership skill, alpha males have fragile egos. So in order to report to them and not have a hostile relationship, you have to always support an alpha male in his ego. It's very important not to demasculate an alpha male. It always ends up bad. And this is also for other males. I don't want to make it sense. this is like a weak versus strong. This is how you actually navigate working with them. And there's nothing wrong with allowing an alpha male, especially if he's an effective one, to remain in that role. Two, alpha males tend to be aggressive so you always want to meet their aggressiveness with supportive assertiveness meaning that you want to make sure that you don't meet aggression with aggression with them but you still stand your ground but more in a supportive role so you want to make sure that every time that you know you meet that aggression you kind of meet it with this is where i stand but it's to the benefit of, of both of us also in dealing with an alpha male you kind of have to let them take the leadership role and let them be the ones who originate ideas, let them be the ones who uh, make the final decision. And you have to kind of keep them educated. So if your boss or spouse is who's in an alpha male role, in a leadership role, you want to make sure you give them all the tools they need to be a successful leader. They may not always be receptive to suggestions. So what you want to make sure is that you give them the tools the knowledge and the information they need to be that alpha. Meaning, my boss is the alpha male. We're getting ready to go into this new transition into applying a new system at work. I cannot tell him what to do. I have to make sure he has all the information, the flaws, the strengths of the new system, uh, things are still working out, um, possible outcomes, possible challenges. The reason why is he may not be receptive to suggestion, but the alpha is always um, open to learning or getting knowledge. So you want to make sure whatever you're working with the alpha male in a leadership role, you want to give them knowledge versus rebuttal. Also, dealing with the alpha male, you have to be mindful how you make them look. It's a saying from the book, uh, Art of uh, Worldly Wisdom, that the wise sage never seems smarter than the king. You want to make sure that when dealing with an alpha male, you never outshine them, especially in public. So you want to actually make sure that you 
I know some people are like, why would I dim my light? But in order to be functional with the alpha male, you have to kind of dim it a little bit to actually not outshine them because they're very sensitive to someone challenging the alpha male. -ness. So, then with the alpha male, you want to, which we're viewing, you want to make sure that you educate them so they can leave because they may not be receptive to advice, but they're receptive to wisdom and knowledge. So, make sure you educate them. Two, when, when happens to disagree with them, try to make sure you come assertive but not aggressive. Three, make sure you never challenge their alpha status. Never make them feel less than or you're trying to outshine them. Always be supportive. Then on the alpha male takes someone, not so much being a beta or being a person who is less than, but a person who's able to navigate them in the way that's most productive. And one of the most successful people of dealing with alpha males is sigma males. I'll go into that in another video. So that is for reporting. How do you actually supervise or deal with alpha or if you're a parent of alpha? You want to cultivate that control. So whenever you are supervising an alpha male or you have an alpha male for a child, any activity that designed to control, subdue, or rein in will be virtually ineffective or, or not have the, the optimal outcome you want. But you want to cultivate, meaning you want to give them the tools they have to flourish into being an effective leader, even if it's just of themselves. So as a supervisor, if I have an alpha under me, I won't give him directives, I'll give him education. So if I need him to learn how to do the books, I won't tell him do the books, have it in by the 15th. I'll teach him the importance of having it in by the 15th and give him the skill sets he needs to be able to get it done while allowing him to have the freedom to have control of the day to day. You don't never micromanage an alpha. It's, it, it makes them ineffective. It creates a lot of pushback, and it makes the job twice as hard. So, with the alpha, I'm going to give just, just like if I was under them, even over them, I'm going to be more suggestive than directive, and I'm going to give them the knowledge to be more independent and allow them to flourish. Also, when supervising alpha, you want to kind of give them a sense of self-control or space. I said sense because if you're in a leadership role, your obligation is still to be able to lead and direct, but you want to direct from a wide berth with them. So, for instance, if you hang out assignments to a group of alphas, you want to kind of let them pick which assignment, whenever possible, that they can do. So, whenever leading an alpha, you want to kind of lead more like a sage than a king, more like a teacher or a mentor than a supervisor or director with them. Even if you had those roles, you want to be more of a mentor. Whenever you try to direct or supervise the alpha, it, it generally backlashes on you. Now, how do you be a peer with an alpha? The same rules apply that apply for being a subordinate or being a supervisor or over. You want to make sure you don't, you don't rub them the wrong way when it comes to their status and ego. They're very fragile. You want to make sure that you're supportive of their status of being alpha, and you want to educate and let them have a modicum of control, or at least feel that like they're in control. So this is a brief, this, uh, I can go a little deeper, and in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, I go really deep into how do you fit, how does this look in application? What do you do in the day-to-day -day operations to supervise the alpha male? What do you do in the day-to-day -day operations to be supervised and be successful under alpha male? How do you work within a partnership or a peer situation with an alpha male? And it goes into greater detail, but in this video, I just want to stick with that point, those three points. One, educate, don't direct. So give them the knowledge to make decisions to be leaders and know themselves, they flourish in that environment. Two, don't outshine them. Three, don't try to control or, or rein in an alpha male. It never works out. Thank you, Monte Coma IS Coaching. Once again, very brief conversation. This is a broad topic, um, but it's something I coach on. So reach out to me, inbox me, especially if you're struggling. If you're working on the alpha male, you're trying to supervise the alpha male, or you're trying to raise the alpha male, definitely reach out for private coaching on the issue. It's, it, takes, it, takes a, it takes a very 
plotted out, methodical way to manage, cultivate, and develop an alpha. You have a great day. Monty Coma, IES Coach.